Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good hello. evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you here. I can see Rosa, Carla, Ana Garcia, Alex Belloso. Good evening. William, Alfredo, Joana, Daniela, Jacqueline, William Mejia, Stephanie Carolina. Good evening. Hello, hello. Wilbur, uh, Wilder, Jenny, and Emma. Emma Deborah, right? They have uh, uh, 17 people connected, so we're going to start. In a minute. Okay, do me the favor to activate your camera. Remember, it's quite important for you to activate your camera and to interact with everybody here in that way. Extremely important. So I have uh, Roxana also. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. And I also have Emma, right? Emma. You can see Emma there. Okay, did you do the, the homework assignment? Did you do your homework? Yes or no? Did you do your homework? What was the homework, people? Who remember about the homework assignment? Verbs in past. Ah, simple. verbs in simple past in simple form. In um, participle, participle. In participle, right? Simple past. Okay, so did you study some verbs in English? Yes. Tell me, tell me which ones did you study? Take, took. All right. Take, took. Go, went. Go, went. Have, had. Have, had. Um... By boat. By boat. Swim, swim. Swim, swim. Okay. And do this. Do this, good. Anybody else? Anybody else? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Rose. Um, wake up, woke up. Wake up, woke up. Mm, take a shower, took a shower. Take a shower, took a shower. Brush, brushed. Brush, brushed. Go, went. Go, went. Check, checked. Check, checked. Work, worked. Work, worked. Uh, study, studied. Study, studied. Watch, washed. Wash, washed. Um, do, did, do, did, make, made, make, made, eat, ate, all right, play, played, mm -hmm. um, cook, cooked, cook, cooked, cold, cold. Wow, so you got a lot of them, Rose. Excellent. Yes, 20. Uh, you got 30. Yeah. 20. A uh, 20. Okay. 20. Pretty good. Now I will check list of dinners and then we will continue. Abigail. I am here. Good. Abigail Elizabeth, right? Yes. Give me a second course. I have problems here. Listen. Ana Maria. Ana Maria Garcia. Okay. There, right? Ana Maria yes. Emily. Okay. Present teacher, Ana Maria uh, Garcia. A Garcia, right. So, Ana Maria. Yes, Ana Maria Garcia. Yeah. Ana Maria Emily. Mm -hmm. 
Carlos David. Carlos David Santos. Daniela Alejandra. I am here. Good, Daniela. Diana Saray. Present teacher. Emma Débora. Are you at there? Eva Margarita. Eva, Eva, are you there? Sorry, Eva, Eva is not here. Uh, Gabriela Lisset. Here I am. Good. Jacqueline Janet. Present. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Uh, Carla Olivia. Present teacher. Melissa Giselle. Present. Raul Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Raul. Eh, Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ah, okay, Rosa Elizabeth is here. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi Present Zaira Sara Vanessa Silvia Noemi Present teacher Good. Stephanie Carolina Present teacher Eh, Swani, Wilder, present teacher, Good. Wilder, and eh, William, William Vladimir, William. present, William Alfredo, present teacher, Jancy Stephanie, And Jenny Guadalupe. Present. Okay, Jenny Guadalupe, mm -hmm. really good. All right, so we're gonna start as soon as possible. Welcome back to a new English class. I hope that you are willing to learn something new and I hope you are interested in participating actively in the class. Well, here we go. Rosa Elizabeth Barriento. Give me a second, Rosa Elizabeth. Yeah, Rosa Elizabeth, there's any trouble. Well, we're going to start now. You know, the topic's about simple past tense. And I will try to introduce the topic by uh, having certain information in the platform. Okay, now there are some activities that we hate to do, things that we don't like to do, okay? The top eight things people have to do. Now we're gonna see this and then you are gonna tell me what you don't like to do. Lo van a ver cuando terminemos. Um, ustedes me van a decir que es aquello que no le gusta hacer, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. Work. Four. Go to meetings. Five. Exercise. Six. Work in the yard. Seven. Clean the house. Eight. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. Things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practice. We're gonna go over it once again, to be able to repeat. Stand in line. Stand in line. Two, do laundry. Do laundry. Three, do laundry. travel to work. Travel to work. Travel to work. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Five. Exercise. 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 Work in the yard. Work in the yard. Work in the yard. Seven. 
Clean the house. Clean the house. Clean the house. Open the mail. Open the mail. Open the mail. Now, practice this book. Seven. Clean. Okay, now from these activities, tell me the one that you don't like to do. Tell me something you don't like to do. Um, I don't like staying in a line. You don't like to stay in a line. You hate that. Okay, yes, what else? I hate that. You hate it. What else, people? I don't like to do laundry. You don't like to do that laundry, okay? No. I don't like standing in line. Uh, you don't like to stand in line too, okay? Yes. Somebody else? I don't like go to the doctor. You don't like to go to the doctor, all right? No, no one else. I don't I like. <laughs> you hate. I hate to take out the trash. Oh, you hate to take out the trash. All right. So this is some vocabulary that somehow help us to see the 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 coming information. Okay. So top uh, eight things people have to do have to. And now we have some, some info in here. Statements, simple past statements with regular verbs. Okay, now, now yes, this one is kind of long. So do me the favor to pay special attention uh, specifically to the grammar and also to the pronunciation of the verbs. Here we go. Simple past statements, regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study, studied, S-T-U-D-I-E-D. -E Stay, stayed, S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop, shopped, S-H-O-P-P-E-D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started Let's with continue paying statements. attention. This is important. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement. 
on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I will. France. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied France. So. Why? Well, on Saturday. I didn't study. So people, hope you could see the information. That was very significant, okay? But now, let's try to identify where simple past tense is in the, in the conversation here. If I say, hi, Jennifer, do you have a good weekend? Tenemos algo en pasado ahí? Yes. Tell me. Did. Did, did, have, did, have, did, did you have did a, you good have a good weekend? Excellent. So that is the first question. Hey, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Uh, the past I is had a busy weekend. Had. I had a busy weekend. I had a busy weekend, weekend. and I feel a little uh, tired today. Okay. No more? Tired. 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 Tired today. Okay, this is tired. Mm -hmm. Tired. Yeah, but, but in this case, if it's a simple pass, it's, it's an adjective. Uh. Aquí no, no es verbo, sino adjetivo. Uh -huh. mm. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. I exercised. I exercised. Yes. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Did the laundry? Cleaned. 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 Okay, clean. 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 I cleaned. I did the laundry, right? I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied. Over here, over here, over here. Do I have some? Did what you did you do? do? What did you do? I studied for this. I studied. I studied. I studied. Oh no, do we have a test today? Didn't. No. I, I didn't, didn't study. study. I didn't study. I just watched. I just watched. 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 
Television. Television all weekend. All weekend. All weekend. Okay. Very good. So we identify simple past statements. And that's really, really nice of you. Good. So I will get out of here. And I have, for example, the following exercise. I have two. Same as with Relever. And now, give me. I think it's better if I continue over here. Well, let me see if you know something about simple past tense. How do you complete this one? I didn't drink any sort of like. Wow, fantastic. What about number two? She got on the bus. She got, she got the bus. Okay, the she city. she got she got on. She got on the bus in the city. In the city, and let's see. She got on the bus in the city. Mm -hmm. The next one, where you get off the train? Where you where you got got off? Where you got off? Where got off? You are right. you are you are forgetting about the auxiliary, right? Uh, the auxiliary okay. did. Yeah. So where did you get off this train? What about this one? Mm, we woke up very late. We walk. We did. We woke up. Walk. We got very late. Very, yeah, very late. Very good. So I think it's been enough. So we're gonna stop right here, otherwise we're not gonna have enough time. Did she make good coffee? Did she make no. good coffee? Excellent. So we're gonna smile. Nos vamos a tener por ahí. And but let me see the part that I want you to work with. Mm. Sorry, but it's not this one. I remember I had a PowerPoint for Okay. Well, I hope you can see the information. Yes, we can. Yeah, right. So what is the topic for tonight? Simple past tense. Simple past tense. And you know about these people, right? Who's this yes. guy? Cristiano Ronaldo. Who's this guy? Harry Potter. Harry who's Potter. this guy? Messi. Leo Messi. And who's this la lady? Um, what's her? No. No. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart? Kristen Stewart, yes. Okay, Kristen Stewart. Okay, let me see. We're going to check. Then you are going to tell me who is the person talking about. Okay, for, for example, number one, what's the top scorer of the 2005 FIFA World Youth Championship? After this, he became a member of the Argentina's international team. In 2008, he won his first international honor and Olympic gold med medal with the Argentina Olympic uh, football team. Messi. It's about yeah. it's Messi. Talking about Messi, right? Messi. No number two. Yeah, Messi. He was the most expensive player in football. Real Madrid paid 96 millions of euros to Manchester United. He His contract with the Spanish team is for six months. He mm -hmm. earns yeah. 13 millions of euros every year. If another team wants him, it has to pay around 1,000 millions of euros. Wow. 
Ok. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Look at this number three. She was born on 9th, April the 9th, 1990, 1990, and she is most famous for playing Bella Swan in the film's Twilight. And New, New Moon, she was born and raised in Los Angeles and has one older brother, and she started acting age eight. And this year won the something. She won something there. <laughs> Kristen Stewart. Okay, Stewart. All right. And the last one. Started acting when he was five years old. His hometown is Hammersmith, West London. He is an only child and his father is Irish. Daniel likes rock music and his favorite band is Arctic Monkeys. He, his other hobbies include cricket, and writing poetry. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Okay. So let me see. It's because I have something else here. Huh. Well, let's see some regular verbs. In English, siempre nos vamos a encontrar con los dos grupos de verbos, que son los regulares Irregular. y los irregulares. Okay, Irregular. so in this case, we have the first. Do you believe in black cats? Talk. Okay. Talk. In the first one, we have... Talk. 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 Uh -huh. And this one? Talk. Talk. How do you say this in English? Font. Uh -huh. Font. What about number four? Number five. Arrive. 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 Number five. Arrive. Play. 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 Ask. 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 Okay. Okay. So we notice all of these are regular verbs, right? So all of these are regular verbs. So we're going to get and see some irregular verbs. Okay. So we have some irregular verbs. Who wants to help me to read? Eat. Eight. Eat. Eight. Drink, swim, swim, drink, 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 swim, 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 meat, 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 okay. So everybody, do me a favor to repeat. Talk. 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 Bond. 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 Arrive. Bond. Arrive. 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 Swim, All right, so you see, there are certain rules when talking about regular verse, and we're gonna go over them a, a little bit quickly. So we we already know that all of them end in ed. We are clear about it, right? <laughs> so it is is in in it's in it is now with us. So we have walk, 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 walk. talk, 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 answer, answer, answer. Dance. Dance. dance, dance, like, like, like. 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 right. Arrive. Arrive. Okay, so in the next chart we have uh, some 
some yeah. verse that in which you can double you you I mean you are in church of double the, the last consonant. Here we go. Oh, okay so we have prefer preferred stop stop travel travel vowel plus y in the vowel jet play play enjoy enjoy say stay stayed Okay, let's continue. Okay, so we have some positive statements. I didn't walk. He didn't swim. You didn't sleep. Negative form. Interrogative. Did you study? Did she walk? Did they dance? Did they dance? Now, contractive form. I didn't walk. I didn't, I, did, walk. I, didn't, I didn't walk. I didn't walk. He didn't swim. He didn't swim. He didn't, he didn't swim. swim. Hey, what happened here? <laughs> Oops. I want my phone. Which one did we start? Okay. He, I didn't walk. He didn't swim. You didn't sleep. So, ah, we say interrogative. Did you study? Did she walk? Did, did they dance? Uh, do they dance? Good. Contractive form, I didn't. He didn't, you didn't. Listen to this. To form the, the, the negative, we add the auxiliary verb did not or didn't before the main verb. All right. Questions so far? No questions? No questions, people? Well, we're going to go over some exercises. No question at the moment. Good. No questions at the moment. Oops. Mm. Give me a second. Mm. Well, I will try with this. thing is better now so we were working in these exercises but we have some other here for example this is a past simple exercises regular form in present so for example over here it says I which of the three of them is the correct answer. Start. Start. I start. The first, Sim yes. Simple pass. The start. The start. The start. 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 I started. You start or started? Just start. You start. 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 Pass? Start. 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 Start.
Let's continue with the next one, please. He stars. 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 He starts. Yes, starting. Starting. Okay, she starts. Start or starts. 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 She starts. She starts. Okay. Number seven. Tell me. Can she? She starts. She starts. Uh, simple pass. Yes. yes. What is a simple pass? Start. Pass. Start. Starting. Starting, right? So it, it starts. Starts. It starts. Simple pass. So we're almost done. You see, we start. We start. We start. We start. We start. We start. You start. Start. You start. You start. They start. And they start. Start. Okay, so we're gonna check. A hundred percent. Wow. Congratulations. You you understand pretty well simple path form of verbs. Okay, so let's see. It's because I have another exercise. So in this case, in this case, we're gonna focus our mind in the pronunciation. Example, help. What is the what is the path form for it? Helped. Helped. Yeah. Help. 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 Watch. Help. Watch. 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 Live. 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 Right. 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 Stop. 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 We have plan and also we have this. Plan. 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 Is it study? No. No. Plan. 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 Yes. All right. Plan. Yes. So we check it. Wow, you are quite good people. Now, listen carefully because I need to explain something to you. But if you have que los verbos regulares tienen la característica de que todos en su forma pasada tienen ed, ed todos, todos, todos sin excepción. Pero no sé si ustedes también se percataron de que estas tienen diferente pronunciación. Yes. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, help, help, lo help. que va a sonar es la, es la E y la D. Yes. Help. Si yo digo, wash, washed, washed, aquí sonido T. Live, lived, lived, lived. So this one is like a D sound, D. The sound. All right. 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 Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay. All right. All right. Play. 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 Enjoy. 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 Study. 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 Uh, right. 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 Stop. 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 Plan. 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 Okay, we're going to check it. We're going to check it. Thank you. 
Well, let's do something then. Yeah, Abigail, I will do it ju just right now. I will do it over here through the chat. There you are. There you are. So a lot of practice. Okay, so we definitely have some idea about, about simple past tense. So Uh, Alex? Yes, es una pregunta, teacher, ¿cómo podemos identificar si un verbo es regular y el otro es un verbo irregular? Siempre he tenido duda con eso. Ok, good question, Alex. Good question. Uh, well, con los verbos regulares, la, la, la clave o el patrón que siguen es que todos terminan en ED en pasado. Todos los verbos que terminan en ED son verbos regulares. Eh, por el contrario, si el verbo no termina en ED, pero tiene otra terminación, eh, esos, esos pues hay que memorizarlos. Hay que memorizarlos sí o sí porque son muchos y debemos de iniciar pues aprendiéndonos que de 10 en 10, de 5 en 5, bueno, ustedes lo van a decidir. Pero es importantísimo que los aprendamos. Eh, you're welcome, Abigail. Thanks, teacher. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. So let me see. Vaya, fíjate, voy a tener dos tareas. Una, que investiguen la pronunciación de los verbos regulares. ¿Cómo se pronuncian? ¿Por qué se pronuncian así? ¿Ok? Y también, pues, nos van a contar una pequeña historia que ustedes eh, han experimentado y que nunca van a olvidar. ¿Ok? Cortita, no es necesario que sea largo. Pero lo que sí necesito es que pongamos en, de manifiesto los verbos o lo, lo que hemos estado estudiando. Are you ready? Yeah, teacher. Okay, so I think I have something else here. So we actually started about positive and statement simple past tense. We also studied about regular verbs, but in this regular verbs, well, we're gonna go over the, the, the knowledge check. Change the verb in parentheses to the past to complete the story. You don't need to type a video and it is already placed. On Friday, I... Wait. Wait or waited? Waited. Waited. Okay, past to complete. It says to the past, right? So I, on Friday, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend not called. Didn't. 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 Didn't call. 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 Didn't call. Didn't call. Good. I just stay home and watch TV. Watch. 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 Watch TV. <clears throat> On Saturday, I, my friend Frank, visited. 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 We talked in listened. Listen. 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 Listen to music. Listen. In the Listen. evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked. 
Say, say cooked. 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 Cooked a great meal. I not work very hard on Sunday. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. So I think well we're missing two. We let us try to finish them. I know um, I, I didn't study. Um, I didn't at all. I didn't study. I didn't study at all. At all. And the last one. Yes. I, yeah. I shopped. And shopped. Shopped. And shopped. And shopped. 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 And shopped. I think it will be enough, right? Well, so we still have like 10 minutes of so checklist attendance. Voy a pasar la lista. Y este, mientras yo hago eso, ustedes pues a, comienzan a trabajar en las actividades para el día de mañana. ¿Cuáles son? ¿Quién me ayuda? Investigar la pronunciación de los verbos. Investigar la pronunciación. De los, de los verbos regular, regular en pasado. Regular, es verdad. Ya, regular en pasado. En Esa es una. ¿Qué más? Describir una breve historia ah, que haya marcado nuestra vida. Ah, ok. Ok, lo que yo necesito es que vayan como empapándose o familiarizándose más con pasado simple. Eh, let me see. Regular verbs, knowledge check, simple past, e e d n. So that's for tomorrow, right? Knowledge check, I think this part is the one that we're gonna complete. Instruction, change the verse into parentheses to see the past to complete the story. You don't need to type a period, it is already placed. On Friday, Friday night, on Friday night, I put a Wait. phone call. Wait it. Wait it. So we're here. But my gay friend not called. Didn't call. Didn't call. So it's there, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's there. I didn't, didn't call. That. Just stay I... home and watch TV. Watch it. Watch. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Have, here. On, watch sa TV. on Saturday, I... I visited... Visit. Visited my friend Visit Frank. My friend Frank. Okay. We talked and listened to music. Listen. Listen. And listen to music, right? So it's gonna be enough. Wow, people. Just, just to finish. Okay, just to finish. To be the favor to keep working in the platform. I will Stop sharing over here and I will check list at the end. Say hello, say present. Okay, so Abigail. I am here. Good. Ana, Ana Maria Garcia. I'm here. Ana Maria Emily. Present teacher. Good, Emily. Eh, Carlos David Santos. Carlos David. Daniel Alejandra. I am teacher. Diane, Diana Saray. Present teacher. Emma Débora. Present teacher. Eva Margarita. Present. Gabriela Lisset. 
Jacqueline Janet, Joana Guadalupe. I'm here. Okay, Carla Olivia. Present teacher. Melissa Giselle. Present. Raul Alexander. Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana Yanira. Present. Ruth Noemi. Present. Zaira Abigail. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Present. Stephanie Carolina. Present teacher. Present. Swanny. I'm here. Excellent, Swanny. A Wilder. Present teacher. William Vladimir. Present. William Alfredo. I am here. Jancy Stephanie. I am here. Uh, and Jenny Guadalupe. Present. Good. That was really, really, really nice. Now, people, any question about what's what we have discussed tonight? Alguna consulta? Yeah, Gabriela, I got it. So tomorrow, tomorrow you are going to present or you're going to introduce a story about you. Something that you will never forget. That's the first. Second, verb pronunciation in past form. Okay, so, so that's going to be very, very easy. It's not going to be difficult. But do me the favor to try to, I mean, to do your best. Mm. So, ¿qué es lo que aprendimos esta noche? La pronunciación de los verbos. Pronunciación de verbos. El pasado simple. Pasado simple. En verbos irregulares. Irregulares. Verbos regulares e irregulares. No more. Ok. Pronunciation. Bueno, pronunciation also. Grammar. Ok, ¿cómo se ha estructurado la oración en pasado? Uh, ok, ahora que entramos a pasado simple, este, los quiero, que, quiero que por favor se mantengan estudiando verbos, ya sean regulares o irregulares. Los regulares ya saben que son aquellos que terminan en ED okay. en pasado. Los irregulares este, tienen una característica bien peculiar que hay que memorizárselos todos. Y la verdad que son, son bastantes. Hay que empezar por algo. Mañana, pues, continuaríamos. Y no sé si hay alguna inquietud o algo. Si no, nos quedamos ¿Qué será acá. Ah, ok. Yes. Hi. Ana, go ahead, Ana. Yes, yes. Por ejemplo, eh, comencé a hacer la, la historia. Pero quiero que me corrija cómo la estoy haciendo. Eh, the, the last year I, get, I went to Guatemala with my family. And we enjoy in this play because we visited the new place. That's fantastic. It's correct. Yeah, it is. Comenzado con el pie derecho. Okay, muy bien. Por, bueno, lo que admiro yo que nos dirigimos más a los verbos regulares esta noche, pero ya por ejemplo Ana ya está incluyendo verbos irregulares, eso está súper ok, so si no hay más eh, only teacher thank only, you uh, thank you gracias por hacer su mejor esfuerzo creo que pues se merecen 
se merece. Ok, escucho alguna interferencia por acá. Se merecen aprender muy, muy rápido. Y yo siempre, este, a, mis, a los participantes que me asignan, yo siempre les digo, ustedes tienen puertas abiertas para aprender cuánto ustedes quieran. No. ¿Verdad? No, digamos, aquel que quiera aprender algo, está algo en inglés, algo nuevo, está tan solo un, uh, un clic y ya se le abren múltiples, múltiples opciones para aprender inglés. Hay páginas web donde usted puede practicar, hay otras, bueno, practicar su escritura, otra su lectura, otra su listening, otra su speech, o sea, y es bueno que ustedes vayan notando eso, que pueden eh, siempre buscar eh, un, recursos eh, fuera de, de la sesión, okay, porque es válido. Y por supuesto que se mantengan en contacto con las actividades de la plataforma. Que vayan tratando de culminar las actividades lo más pronto posible. Eh... Okay, Diana, we look for it. Okay, Diana, la voy a buscar, okay? Si no hay más eh, preguntas, nos quedamos por acá y nos vemos el día de mañana. See you tomorrow, people. See you. Good night. 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 Yeah, good night. <laughs> ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias. Un poco cansada. Ay, me imagino. Ay, pero en general... Este mes es bien pesado, ¿verdad? En varias áreas. Ay, sí. Para mí es bien pesado. ¿Y usted qué tal? Bien, también. Algo cansada. Sí, siento que he trabajado esta semana, a pesar de que ahora es lunes y la semana pasada, he trabajado doble. Ay, sí. Uh -huh. Hay temporadas que así se siente. Sí, pero primero no. ya va a pasar todo este, este mes y esperamos que octubre ya sea más descansado. Más tranquilo. Sí, así es. Uh -huh. Bueno, que tenga buenas noches. Gracias igualmente. Feliz noche. Gracias. Nos vemos mañana, primero Dios. Claro que sí, primero Dios. Uh -huh. Chao. Da.